Hello friend, welcome back on Saixpo. I am Dr. Ravindra Donde. In today's video, I am going to show you how to analyze population genetic using PopGene software. In this video, I will show you PopGene introduction and user manual guide. So, any further ado, let's get start. PopGene is user friendly Microsoft Windows based company computer package for analysis of genetic variation among the and within natural population. This software used to analyze using co-dominant and dominant marker data and quantitative traits to perform complex analysis and produce scientifically sound statistics, thereby assisting you to adequately analyze population genetic structure using target marker trait data. Currently, the PopGene version is available 1.31. It is designed specifically for co-dominant and dominant marker data. This software imports the haploid and diploid data analysis. This software can analyze allele frequency, gene diversity, genetic distance, F statistics, multi-locus structure, single locus, single population, single locus, multi -lo multiple populations, multi locus, single population and multi locus, multiple population etc. So let's jump into the user manual guide of PopGene software. Don't forget to subscribe. Now let's jump into the PopGene version 1.31 user manual guide. In that user manual you have to mention all the detail about the installation about these softwares and what kind of data you need to input and how to prepare data sheets all details are mentioned in that software so please download that user manual guide and on the websites and read it carefully and if you have any questions ask me in the comment below the software is uh, suitable for uh, suitable for uh, 95 onwards. I think uh, it will be suitable for Windows 7, 8, 10, 10, and 11 as well. So just go to the web and uh, search PopGene software and get you will get first result. Click on that and install it by installing simple click click and finish the simple pro installation procedure. This software is available in two versions: 32-bit version and 16-bit. I think 32-bit is suitable for all all users. PopGene is user friendly and Microsoft Windows based computer package for the analysis and genetic variation among and within natural population using the co-dominant and dominant marker trait and quantity traits. The minimum hard uh, minimum requirement is 8 MB your RAM should be there and the processor 386 processor or higher PCPU CPU will be there and uh, as I mentioned that is a uh, basic Windows Windows 95-98 onwards it will work all Windows base OS. PopGen Windows computing environment consists two types of win da Windows data data display windows and dialog box windows. In the screen of PopGen software it will look like like start from the file edit search and codominant dominant and quantity rate and help etc. PopGen uh, user guide co-dominant and dominant marker have two dialog boxes haploid data analysis and deploy data analysis each of these boxes there are three level of hierarchical structure gives as three check boxes single population groups and multiple population estimation of single locus multi locus genetic parameter is carried out by the clicking on one more hierarchical structures or boxes on more single locus or multi locus boxes deploy data analysis we'll find that the different type of analysis uh, parameter like gene frequency allele number effect allele number and polymorphic loci gene diversity channel index and homozygote test if f statistic gene so group multiple population genetic distance dendrogram will find neutrality test two locus ld populations and etc similarly deployed data analysis will find the gene genotype frequency had equilibrium test 
fixation index, allele frequency, allele number, effective allele number, polymorphic loci, observed variation, observed heterozygosity, observed expected homozygosity, observed heterozygosity, expected heterozygosity, and standard index. Homogeneity test, F statistics, group, multiple gene flow, multiple population, genetic distances, gendrogram, neutral test, two locus LD, multiple populations, etc. There is only limitation of this software is that it's having the limited number of population, maximum up to 1400 population. It takes as a population numbers and total 150 groups and maximum thousand loci it's a limitation of this software if a number of alleles per locus is limited let's just let's imagine one to nine if you want if you use the numeral to code your alleles or to 52 if you use the alphabetic letters letters you represent that a to z for the one to 26 and lower alphabet is a to z it's a 27 to 52 you can code your genotype data getting started you are using the input file format for the popgen software so option of accept the asc second input file format if you have excel or uh, another text editor you can easily make it asc second file input file format or you can use popgen text editor just copy paste data from excel to the Excel to the text editor in the pop gene and save your data sheet a specific giving ID like a dominant, co-dominant, deployed, haploid, likewise. To carry out analysis, pop gene proceed with the following step. Click on the file main menu bar and load your data file file menu and select the appropriate data type you want to analyze, like co-dominant data or dominant data types. This is a window of your popgen software. Once you install and you will get the first window like this. Load data and click on data. Which type of data you want to load there is a dominant or co-dominant. Upon loading your data file, click on co-dominant main menu bar to select the haploid or deployed data analysis. Once you loaded the loaded could deploy co-dominant data types, then go to the co-dominant data uh, tab and select the it's a haploid or deployed data type you want to analyze this data this is a deployed data set you mentioned in this window it's uh, coded as a alpha alphabetic had alphabetically these are the analysis parameters which you want to analyze using your data types so if you don't know what time or what kind of analysis you want to do just check all make sure that check all if you know if you sure that you want to be specific analysis just click on that specific analysis be sure that variables in first first checkbox variables of column please make sure that click on the variables of column don't check on a record of the data columns then next we next uh, windows will open uh, that is a retain do you want to retain all the loci or not agree means if you want to total number of loci for the analysis if you want to filter out some loci which is not useful for you then you can retain those loci in next step so click on the no button if yes then it will show you which kind of what type of loci you want to retain and filter out from this analysis let's uh, say yes then it will show the what uh, which uh, loci you want to filter from this analysis just select that loci and click on the double arrow button it will show the right side of the uh, remove locus column just neutrality test yes or no if you want to check on the step 3 neutrality test or it will show you which kind of group you want to analyze if you selected on the group group of population then here you have total four population then you have to group it into uh, group it into one group or two group here is a two group then select ok ok means there is a 
uh, analysis between the two groups similarly here also you have to select group of population dialog box grouping of population and select the appropriate population for each groups if two locus ld is uh, was selected check at the step 3 then you need to select the significance level of p test please make sure that uh, b make sure that two locus ld analysis if you selected at the check 3 check 3 ld analysis then you have to make sure that uh, select the appropriate p value for the linkage distribution between the pairs of loci so high p value value can result exa extremely high, large output where you have large number of the alleles locus uh, loci population so make sure that uh, your p value should be less than 0 0.05 click ok then even utility test watch check that is step 3 thing then you need to select the number of uh, simulation of computing 95 percent lower or uh, upper upper confidence limit use for test you have to select a minimum 500 and maximum maximum you can go up to thousands you can go further thousands also but it will take time and computation time also will take the finally you will get the result file that is a result dot result dot dat dat or your output file you can copy just control all and you just copy all and paste in your word file as well and you will get all result file and program all kind of analysis you will get at once you finish you successfully completed one to eight this step step in next videos i will show you how deploy data and haploid data how to prepare data sheets for the PopGen software using genetic analysis. So in, let's uh, uh, say the input file format for haploid data set. So make sure that uh, you have, have to keep in mind their first three, four lines are your about your data information. First line is about your data types or title of your data types. Then second, pop, second line is number of populations and third line is number of loci fourth one is number of loci locus you have used in column wise in this data set haploid data set having the three population 19 loci and 19 locus are mentioned here in column wise and each having the three groups number of population means three groups here is id1 id2 id3 if you don't know what kind of population is there just keep empty line between the population and population population pop gene will take care of that this is the haploid data format for deployed data co-dominant marker here similarly here also mentioned first title of the your data type then number of population is here is a three types of population number of loci is a 21 loci mentioned in column wise and data types is alphabetic uh, data types and genotype here mentioned in the call rows wise rows wise here in front of the starting starting but uh, genotype is not required in this analysis just our data um, data and locus id is required just keep in mind just uh, arrange your data in excel like this array in then this way and uh, paste it in the popgen test editor and save your data types in popgen next input file format for deploy data and dominant marker so keep in mind that dominant marker like just like RAPD you have to data input is a 10 binary format one format so it's arranged in 101 formats like like if you want to name according to the population here is a two population is there two three population is there so name or you have to give name of each population in the space given lines save in text file in the popgen so this is all about popgen software or user guide and using using information if you like this video subscribe my channel sci expo and you will get similar video in this channel next video i will show you how to analyze using the deployed and deployed haploid using dominant and co-dominant data marker and thanks for watching these videos don't forget to subscribe sciexpo you will find similar videos on my channel
बाय बाय टेक केयर